Thanks for joining me today. I am Alyssa Morrow with Vintage Bee Design and Rave Home Staging. And today I'm doing a collaboration with Bree, Jazz, and Jess. And we're all doing projects that we thrifted locally and then kind of sent round robin to each other. We drew names out of a hat and that determined who we were buying for and who was buying for us. We shipped the items out and we didn't get to know what we were getting until it arrived. And then we had to determine what to do with it, on which we had one week. It's been quite a while since I've been thrifting, so I'm super excited. We're going to go to a couple of thrift stores, God's Storehouse and The Goodwill. Pulling up, you can see all of the donations here on the right. And it just makes me squeal. And half of that stuff you can't even get to yet because they haven't processed it. Reminder. I do not need anything. So I just left the bank. I got my $10 budget for Melissa's mystery box gift, thrift gift. Um, I might have got a little more out. Just a So this is from Brie. I haven't opened it yet. I just cut it open. Oh, yeehaw. Uh, enjoy your mystery box from Kansas. If you're ordering from Brie, she's going to wrap it within an inch of her life. Which is a good thing. Well, that seems right up my alley. Oh, cool. Look, they've got like a, a resin wheat thing on them. Oh, that's neat. That it looks just, like ferns. Yeah. So resin ferns are nice. I certainly do have different things in Kansas than I'm here in Jacksonville. So I've never seen anything even close to that. Oh, I can totally see you doing doing things with this. All right. Looks like she paid six dollars for the big one and four dollars for the little one. So. I'll have some fun with this. When I close my eyes, I see beauty lives in me. I know I don't yet know it, so I trust you when you say that beauty lives in me too. The other part of this challenge was Prima just did a new release and I shipped each of the other girls a product from the new release and they were to use that product on their thrift haul. I've decided since we just got our new DIY paint shipment in that I would go ahead and use French millinery which is a lovely gray purple. Uh, it's great and... paint to work with. It's got a nice chalky finish. I'm giving two good coats to this whole piece. Okay, the next step is to blend a little bit of the petticoat pink at the top and then some farm fresh at the bottom. And in the center is going to be more of the French millinery. You can see that basically I'm using the squirt bottle to add some water that will help blend it out more easily. And my technique is basically going back and forth, pulling it up, pulling it down, and just continue going. I'm not looking for a perfect blend here. I just want to have a little bit of brightness at the top and a little bit of depth at the bottom. I'm going to continue this blending technique across all of the sides of the boxes, of both boxes, and then I'm going to just use the petticoat pink and the French millinery on each of the lids. After the first coat is dry on all sides and the lids, I am going to actually go back and do the same thing again, giving it two layers of the blending. And for those of you who have been asking about updates from the house, we've gotten a lot of progress. We're actually going to start moving some furniture into the house next week. I haven't really put out any videos because to be honest, we have a lot of really incomplete projects that are like 
75% done. So what'll probably happen is they'll all get done all at one time and I'll push out a bunch of videos. But we have gotten the front door painted. Wait till you see what color. And the dining room has the ship lap up. It has been primed, painted, and now we're getting ready to move the rest of the dining room furniture in this week. I always like to give my pieces a good sanding. I like a little bit of distress. I am giving all of the surfaces a light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper. And then afterwards, I'm going to use some top coat. I'm going to coat all of the surfaces. Next up, I've decided to use Dixie Belle's Cacti. Uh, transfer and this has a lot of options so I'm going to kind of pre-check and see which ones I want to use of these four. There's actually quite a few sheets with different patterns but these are the ones that I've chosen and I'm going to center these right in the middle of that medallion piece. If you've never used transfers before they're quite easy. You just take off that back white sheet of paper, lay them down, and then use the stick that comes in there and start running that stick across, being sure to get in all the little nooks and crannies, and then you just simply pull off the plastic sheet on top. If any of it doesn't stick to your surface, then you simply lay it back down, run the stick over it again, and continue until the clear paper comes off completely. to make sure that all of the little surfaces are completely stuck to your piece and there's nothing sticking up. We have a fun update on our local brick and mortar. And that is that you can kind of see behind me that we've got some stamps hung on the wall. And that is we are shifting more from a home decor store into a DIY store. We have found that our customers really love the DIY products that we sell, including now DIY paint. So we have shifted and really upgraded our DIY products, which you can find at vintagebedesign.com. And I'll be increasing the number of videos that I put out here on YouTube. And now for my part of the Prima release, I'm using the sweet tea stamps and I am going to do these on the top of the box using some white ink and I have decided that I'm going to put sweet on one and tea on the other. Sweet tea is a big thing here in the south and while Florida is more geographically located in the south rather than a southern state, uh, it is something that we love down here and I'm thinking you know you usually see sugar and tea and coffee and I don't have a sugar stamp and I think the sweet will work because actually you probably wouldn't want to put sugar in here. This could be a great place to keep all your sweeteners or your candy and it works cute on a kitchen counter here in the south. Some important things to know when you are using stamps is the first time you need to give them a quick sand with a 220 grit sandpaper and that just helps the ink or paint better adhere and then once you place them on your object you need to make sure that you do not move them. With our new DIY space comes a new classroom and they're actually fixing it up right now so we've got classes that are available if you are local to the Jacksonville market, where you can go on vintagebedesign.com or on Facebook and look under events and it'll list all the classes we have coming up. So far, our customers have been very excited about them and we are too. If there's any classes that you'd like to see, leave a comment and we'll be sure to work on those. We're also going to be having a, um, a craft at home kit coming in the next week or so. The next part of my process is going to be layering black wax or a dark wax and white wax. So I've started by adding some dark wax into all of the grooves and then layering it kind of around the bottom and then adding white wax to the top. I am going to um, do this on all of the sides and the top sort of dark around the base and then white in the top or on the case of the lid more towards the center. This is going to help me with my light and dark shading and I believe I actually do two layers of the wax as I go around because I wanted it really to be much darker on the bottom and much brighter on the top. Sort of the same thing I went with when I blended the paint. By doing this you're going to see all of the brush strokes and every little imperfection which is actually what I'm going for. It adds a lot of texture and character to the piece and if you haven't tried it you really should it is a lot of fun and remember clear wax can always remove too much wax and you'll notice I've given up the brush and have started doing the wax with my fingertips and that's pretty common for me sometimes I feel like I actually have more control and I was really wanting this worked in in a very specific way so that the outer edges were lighter or darker I am now doing a live radio show for Rave Home Staging, which is something that I got to do before the pandemic every week. And right now we're keeping it to every other week, but those are going live 
Tuesday at 1.30 right here on YouTube. I know it can seem like there's a lot of steps sometimes, but this is actually my last step. I am adding some of Dixie Belle's gemstone mousse. And I, I've loved this stuff. You see me use it on a lot of projects. It just adds the perfect amount of shimmer and really adds a lot of character, especially on this French millinery color. here at the Goodwill and I'm gonna run in and see what I can find for Jasmine. It is blue today. Okay hands down this is always my favorite aisle. I'm always looking for jewelry boxes. Let's see what condition this one's in. Let's see. These are pretty cute little candle holders. Let's see, what are these down here? I can't make this too easy. Okay, so I'm not sure that my um that I just came in here for Jazz's item. I uh I seem to have a full buggy. I hope Jazz enjoys and uh, I'm gonna have fun with the rest of this because I got a couple really great boxes in here. Uh, you cannot see Jazz's item uh, from this vantage point. So I hope she has fun. I hope that you will enjoy them. And if you do, be sure to hit like and subscribe and ding that little bell so it tells you every time I go live.